Well, here we are uh, at Marrickville Town Hall. We're having a community information evening. Stories from activists from, from PNG. I think it's just a really good opportunity for the people of Sydney, Australians more widely, to find out more. I think it's great that people have come along. It's hard enough that people care. I think that you know the work of Jubilee it is um, really really important in this in this matter because I think most Australians we get sold this idea that we're, we're good people and we're good neighbours. Um, we would like to believe that we're good neighbours to um, our friends in the region, both in the Pacific and in the North. Um, but most of the time we don't know what our government is doing. And we certainly don't know what one of our corporations um, are doing. And so I think it's fundamental, it's very important that organisations such as Jubilee uh, contribute to the research that's not being, not, you know, the, the information that's not publicly available, it's often actually not just not available, it's made unavailable. Um, and it's, it's hard and sometimes dangerous work to um, make it available. Why it's happening, uh, uh, you know, that's just too, that's too big a question. But I think um, Australia, you know, is a satellite society and the frontier still lives within us. And, and there's a little taste of the, of the frontier mentality that still lingers in modern um, Australian society. There's a taste for that. There are, there are people among us who have a real taste for it. They go looking for the frontier wherever it is. And what the frontier is, is a soft edge where they can, they can get in. And sometimes it's about second-hand businesses or second-rate businesses and second-rate people going to places of, of vulnerability and worming their way in and extracting something cheap. And capital is a restless thing. When we know it. capital looks for cheap labour, and it exploits it and then moves on. But it also looks for cheap nature and it exploits it and moves on. When it's, when it's chewed up the cheap labour and it's chewed up the cheap nature, it just moves on to something else and it doesn't care what it leaves behind. It's one of the world's biggest holes in the ground, so be it. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a polluted river, so be it. If it's a dispossessed people, um, so be it. Stewardship, guardianship, but in the end, you're talking about home and love. If you love something, you'll nurture it. If you love something, you will enlarge it. If you love something, you will defend it um, and you'll honour it. And I think we have, I mean, Australians have an enormous amount to learn from our first peoples, um, and it goes back to knowledge. And, and the way we understand knowledge and the way we uh, grant status to knowledge. Because, you know, here we are, um, uh, whether you're, whether you're a, a, an immigrant uh, or, or like me, a native. I mean, I, I can look over my shoulder, um, I know that I'm not indigenous, I know that I'm native, I look over my shoulder, where am I? Where am I going to go back to? There's nowhere for me to go back to except my home, where I'm from. Um, and by now, I'm stuck with it, and it's stuck with me. Um, and that's the problem that we, we work out. But you, you, you go forward in poverty if you don't, um, if you don't acknowledge and honour and go out to meet with open arms and bow ahead the, the great reservoir of knowledge that is here, here before us.